Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Model Mama Show. I have a truly incredible mama here today in studio. One of my really good friends, Shelton Wilder, ah, is with us. She's hey. a luxury real estate expert and a mama <laughs> to two boys. And you have such an incredible career because you really <laughs> sort of like found your niche with this mm -hmm. like luxury real estate expert thing. Yes. Your like social media presence is incredible. Oh, thank you. And I love I'm it. so excited that you're here. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. It's fun. I feel so honored. Oh, it's so great. I'm so, sweet. I'm so proud of you, what oh, you've created here. Thanks. It's honey. really amazing. Well, you guys, Shelton and I have known <laughs> each other for what, like five or six years? Yeah. A long time. A long time. Yeah, over six, actually. Okay, over six. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm forgetting how No, long. no, it's crazy. And, <laughs> it's been um, a long time. No, but, like, let's, I just, like, wanted to talk about, like, your story because I think that, like, the way you kind of, like, pivoted through different courses of your yes. career, especially after becoming a mom, mm -hmm. is, like, so relevant to this yeah. topic and this audience. So let's just dive right in. First, I want to say how I know you. Okay. okay. I think we, we got to tell everybody. Tell it's everybody. so, it's, it's so, so great. Well, first of all, it's so random, but my attorney um, is her husband. So ever since moving to Los Angeles, because I've, you know, been signing contracts and all that sort of mm -hmm. thing, I needed an attorney. A beautiful model. Oh, thank yes. you. And um, Clark, he's amazing, introduced me to gorgeous Shelton when mm -hmm. she was launching your own company called The Shemi. Yeah. And you needed a model. And so I this came is my running, model. I came this running. This is my model. Running to the rescue. Yes. yes it and was great. Um, it was so much fun. We got to work together mm -hmm. on that project. And you were on Shark Tank yep. for the chamois. That was. I what was. was that like? That was a wild experience. I'm sure. It was. It really was. But it was, I mean, I loved it. It was great. And it was it was actually, <laughs> again, like an honor to be picked and to get on there yeah i was one of the fastest people they put on that they i mean that's what they told me that's it happened within a couple of weeks oh my god wasn't like the long like year so anyway well, it, you developed that product super quick but can we just say what the shemi is because i like oh um, love yes. it. i still wear mine that's i know i have it on you do yes so the shemi, the shemi you guys <laughs> is like the everyday essential like under a little yeah it's like a little slip need. it's mm -hmm. a little slip and it comes in like a romper version with shorts yep that's what i have on okay girl the paparazzi protector the paparazzi protector yeah you don't want to no we don't show wanna everything to the world no a lady mm -hmm. and keep yeah. it all covered mm -hmm. i like so, it yeah so, so that was the line mm -hmm. but um but before that you were like a really like well-known celebrity St stylist. stylist yeah a fashion so that's stylist why you yeah like and, and that's where the product came from right was because there would be all these beautiful clothes like even like this is like sheer and different yeah. things and you needed to have a little underpinning yeah. under and there right that, yeah like literally didn't when did we give the slip to slip i don't know it was gone <laughs> <laughs> Look so, at her. I know. I know I'm not doing it anymore. Anyway, I'm not doing She's it. not doing it anymore, but, but right. it is um, such an it's amazing great product. product. Great product. Yeah. Um, but, okay, so you you launched the Shemi, mm -hmm. you went on Shark yep. Tank, and then you became a mama. Yes. And, and then, because that was, like I like to say, that was my business baby. Okay. And then I had a real baby. You had a real baby. <laughs> I had a real baby. You and I was like, oh. Yes, I had that. turned five. Who's so That's cute? That's so weird that last week he turned five. He's so cute. Um, so, so, yeah, so then I had Bo, and I was nursing. We nursed for like 19 months, and he would never long take girl. a bottle. That's a long I went crazy on it. <laughs> and, and, like, and mama. Su you. Super, but I was like hippie mama. Like, I don't know. So I, it was, it was great. And, and he was with me all the time and I was still doing some styling, a little bit of the clothing line, uh -huh. but then I kind of was pivoting in, like you said, like you were just trying to figure out like where out. my career go. Yeah. Because it was, because styling and doing that is, was so much time and energy just I, I was like just, kind of an unpredictable schedule to yeah. be his mom. And and then a lot of times, like the clothing line, it's really lonely. Actually, you think it's so fun and glamorous. It's not glamorous. It's not fun. Yeah, I mean, clothing you're line, yourself. No, you're just like typing email, you know, doing shipping and no. And then at the end, I would get orders and I'd be like, no. Oh, really? <laughs> you know it needs to be over and when you're mad. <laughs> If yeah, you get an order, you're like, oh, yeah, that's not I'm good. sorry, you gave so me some money. did you just decide that that wasn't the right fit? It went, well, my husband Clark was just like, yeah, we're done. We're this. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> well, we're, we're so moving up. Yeah, yeah. Like, and and, 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 it, and it, just, it just wasn't, it just wasn't, I wasn't happy with, with it. And then the styling I'd done for 20 years, it just, 
it just wasn't wasn't working. So I was like praying and meditating and writing, like what do I want to do? And I had my baby, and we wanted to have another one. Uh -huh. And then this real estate thing came to mind, and it was like, what am I best at? Oh, okay, I love being with people. I love helping, and, and I'd worked with people where I was selling them millions of dollars of clothes. It was like super high end, very yeah. very much that I was styling doing, and I was like, okay, I love doing that, and it's very intimate. Right. So being in someone's closet and seeing someone naked. I feel like it's the same thing as like helping them with their real estate. Well, yeah, because, because you're the, helping them buy a home. Yeah, it's their so money. Yeah. It's their, it, you know, and, it, and it's also how you're viewed in the world. Like clothes are how you're viewed, you know, on the outside, but then your home, not viewed in the world, but how you. Yeah, yeah what well, you come home to. Yes, yes, it, it, it's so important. Mm -hmm. It's such a big deal yeah. and it's so intimate. And so it just kind of prepared me for it. And then I got that click. I call it the click. The click, I like Yes, it. and that that's what I did, and that's what we were talking about with mamas, it's like doing the pivots, really, and then I said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. And I'd been an entrepreneur for a long time, so I knew, like, the steps. It was like... Yeah, what are your tips for, like, so when you're a mom and, like, your yes. time is limited... Oh, gosh. Like, what are your tips? Like, if you're wanting to sort of jump into something new, yes. like, what do you, what would you recommend to new moms? Okay, what I would <laughs> recommend to new moms... For starting something new is you have to have deadlines That's yes you have to have deadlines nothing will get done and you have to hold somebody accountable so I would I would hire people for little projects and be like okay we have to get this done in this certain amount of time because it was they were kind of hired for something specific yes yeah yeah it doesn't have to be you don't have to go hire some big agency or somebody even if it's just like an intern somebody that help you're you. holding that's holding you accountable that you're had some deadlines right and then I went and talked to a lot of people, people mentors. I knew in real estate. Yeah, mentors. And I said, well, do you think I'd be great at this? What do you think? How does it work? And then being really realistic, you know, I was like, well, if I join a team, this is what it'll be like, or do I want to own team? Kind of having your five, like a longer plan. So in the first year, it wasn't like I was like slinging deals everywhere. I mean, it's, it takes a little while for someone to trust you with their yeah. biggest transaction. And so I did do a sale in the very, very beginning. And actually, I got my license when I was in my second trimester with my second baby, Lane. Oh, my gosh. I know. I'm, like, walking in there, pregnant, like, well, I didn't take the test like this. Good and then we, we passed it and then, uh, you know, passed it. And then I helped my client, and she was a buyer. And we got her to her home. We beat 25 offers. And so we actually closed the deal out when I was in the hospital. No. And so I took my eight-day-old baby and my two-year-old, the nanny, and my husband to the walkthrough. I mean, like, I'm committed. Seriously. And that's the other tip. You have to be commit. Like, if you figure it out, this is what you want to do. I feel like what you did here. You were like, I'm committed. I'm doing this blog. I'm doing this show. And then you just you, you move you just forward. Do it and you, you just decide. do it. You just have to decide. It's decide, and it has to be really definitive. If you're, like, on the fence and back yeah. and forth, then it's... It could fall apart. You're so right because actually, like in yeah. the beginning, it took me a while to decide. I remember when we were talking about your blog. It was like I a was four like, years ago okay, or something. Yeah. Like, because I I did do a blog four years ago. Yeah, yeah, it that never one. really amounted to anything because I wasn't into it. I yeah. was really still focused on other things. And then when mm -hmm. I was really wanting to like develop this brand and this platform, I just knew that I needed to decide and yeah. just like set deadlines and do go for and then it. and then you did stuff like I, I've watched you and you've watched me do it and it's just like yeah. we're setting up photo shoots we're not we're gonna have really good content yeah. we're gonna you know it, it all, all sorts you just of have things to you take just, control yeah but you and you but you make lists and you decide and you just like there's nothing in your way yeah <gasps> That's kind of watch out, watch, watch out. out. Like, We're gonna do it. So but what about okay? So like obviously that's all good, but like how do you? Because like at the end of the day, you're still a mama to two. Oh yeah, that's a lot mm -hmm. of work. Mm -hmm. So like a labor of love, yes. I like to call. I it. love but, those um, guys. Love those boys to believe mm -hmm. they're the best. But um, like so when you are like starting your day, let's start with this question. Oh. How do you start your day with intention? Because like, let's be real, being a mom, <laughs> being a luxury real estate expert, business mm -hmm. woman, takes a lot of energy. So like, do you have to like protect your energy or do something to get yourself in the right mode? Hmm. That would be really great if I had some really great tricks for in the morning. But I start my day when my eyes open, the kids are like, Come jump in bed. <laughs> so it's just it's full. It starts in the morning. I, I kind of I would say I prepare more at night. 
a little more at night because I'm more of a night owl. So I kind of get things prepared. And then, you know, I just started a team. So I'm yeah. so excited. Yeah, awesome. Jennifer's. You met Jennifer. So great. She's on the team and my assistant and a bunch of people. And we kind of plan out the weeks. I talk with the social media media manager. We, we each... We go through like the different steps, but there's not in the morning. It's just like we're ready to go. But the thing that's really great that my husband and I have, he's I really have a great husband. He helps me so much. So that's been really that's wonderful awesome. to have because um, he has his own practice and I have my own real estate practice. But mm -hmm. basically, we know the schedule each week, who's taking the kids and who's picking up each day. Yeah. Like and yeah, then the kids know. Yeah, that's mapped out and it's already in our, our calendar. So that's that's awesome. That really helps with the work with the schedules yeah, with the kids. That's so that's yeah. super important. Yeah, and what they are, know. What about, um, like what do you do to reset when you're like having a crazy day? Do you have any like personal mantras or workouts or oh. teas or anything? Okay, if, if I, I think you can reset your day at any time, that's which is really true. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you can just say, okay, you don't have to say, oh, it's the gonna day be a better day tomorrow. Yeah. It's like, no, we can just, Reset. I do a lot of outreach calls. I call, uh, there's a lot of people that I call that can, I can just be like, here's my crazy, like even my Peter Hernandez, who is the president of all of Douglas Elliman. I work for Douglas Elliman, which is, you know, I love that company and he's the president and I call him my real estate dad. And so I will call and be like, okay, I'm going off the rails, you know, and he's like, okay, let's get you back up. You know, you, it's awesome. really good to have mentors and people you trust and people that believe in you. I think that's super, so it's been super important. important to me. Yeah. Just to hear that voice, just to go, yeah. okay, for kind sure. of, it kind of brings you back. For me, it's like, it's, it's like calling God or something. I know that sounds weird. But they're not like a God to me, but yeah, it's like, but like hearing someone else's voice. Because if you hear your voice too long, it sometimes can be. Sometimes it can drive you nuts. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. It's good to just, you know. And then also having the team is great. And then Sarah, who's my assistant, done it for 25 years. Yeah. She, you know, that that's kind of how you can reset sometimes that's awesome. too. Yeah. I a team. It. I love a team. Yeah. I like, I like having help. I like. I Don't like a lot of help. I have a lot of help. I really, I mean, that that's what that's what the other tip I would say. It doesn't have to be like, oh, it's somebody that's going to be a full time. Yeah. There can be different people that want to help in different areas. Yeah, I agree. Just like asking, and also just like mm -hmm. being ready and willing to ask for help. I think so many moms like feel a lot of guilt for like admitting oh, yeah. that they can't do it all. No, no. Nope. And I, I admit remember. it. I cannot. <laughs> no. Nope. I cannot do it all. Oh gosh, I really struggled with that in the beginning because I wanted to be like superhero somebody. Oh, yeah. And like I never wanted to like inconvenience my husband or oh. be too demand <laughs> whatever. I just like wanted to Clark do it. Clark would thought that he was like, maybe Sheldon needs a little bit of that. No, I, I, wanted, to do, I <laughs> wanted to do it all. And I just like, no. I wanted to be so hands on with Henry. But mm -hmm. I was like driving myself insane. Yeah, no. Because you can't do it all, mm -hmm. and you just have to delegate and ask for help, and like totally. kind of laugh at some of the pitfalls and whatever. But, yeah, yeah. And a lot, yeah, a lot of help. Meaning, just I, I'm the first to tell you what I'm not good at. I mean, paperwork. No, thank you. That's I mean, I have to delegate that. And then like you know, certain things with the kids or what you know, it just we. It's divide better, and yes. It's better to divide and con conquer for sure. That's good. That's <laughs> awesome. I love it. Yeah. So, what about um, what's like been your favorite motherhood moment? Like, what's oh, what's your favorite? My favorite <clears throat> motherhood moment. Oh gosh, that's that's a big my. Okay, I would say the thing that I'm this my, my most favorite. Mm -hmm. is so I have the two boys, yeah. Bo and Lane, and then they're two years and three months apart exactly. That's insane. And. Yeah, it was it was busy, but they are so obsessed with each other. That's Aww. what I feel most proud as That's a mom. Awesome. I know that sounds so silly, but they they like babysit each other now. They play together. They're they're doing toys, and sometimes one will run in and go, ah, mom. And then I always say, oh, this is my little trick that I I don't know where I came up with this, but if they ever get in a fight or cry, they have to hug and kiss and say sorry. They both have to. Aww. And it just, it's so weird, maybe because it's boys, but it diffuses it. They don't remember it later. They're like, okay, we're done. But it's just that connection and then that, like, of their bodies touching, that yeah. hug and, like a hug. And, and then, so I and feel then like, it's like and then they're like, oh, back to Legos or back to whatever. But yeah. it's just that, to me, their connection. Because I think back in the day, sometimes, I've, like, parents have maybe put 
kids against each other or something like oh, that. Really? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I've just heard different people discuss it, but it's like I want them to be best friends and they always have each other's back. That right. that to me has been. Oh, I'm proud of that. Yes, you should be proud of <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, they share a room. I mean, we, we really keep, we want their bond to be strong. Oh, cute. <laughs> I love that. It's cute. They're cute. Oh, okay. So what about, um, what about having more? Are you going to have more kids? Oh, no, no. God, shut down. No, no, no. Oh, no, thank you. Okay. I'm turning 40. No. Yes. Look at her. Oh, no. I mean, 40 yeah, next month. Go. Next oh, month. Oh, we got to go celebrate. Day, I know. Day after Christmas. So it's, com it's coming up. So That's exciting. No more kids. And then, you know, I I love what I'm yeah. doing. You've transitioned to. Yeah. I, I mean, love and you working. did like the mom thing, and that was really the focus, and you took time off, and now yeah. you're like in it, and she's real estate mogul. Oh. Okay, let's talk about real estate, though. Okay, okay. So we all know that Los Angeles is this insanely Crazy market. Mm -hmm. expensive market. But there's so many different little pockets. Yes, different and areas. And there's all this speculation about, like, the market starting to mm -hmm. turn. Yeah. One, do you believe that? Oh, it is turning. Yes. Okay. So we believe It's not, that. I don't think there's any sort of major crash. I mean, from, I'm not, I don't have my crystal ball here today. But I, okay. just from whatever, what we're all reading and expecting and what people keep talking about, it's nothing like 2008. Because yeah. there weren't, like, crazy mortgages going on. It's really hard to get a mortgage now. I mean, it takes a lot of effort. It's like a full-time job when right. you're in it. They're not just, like, handing them out, like, oh, hey, you have, like, a couple houses. What about some more? It's not like that anymore. So uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't think it will be anything like that. But there is, there is a shift. I mean, a statistic that just came out is that there's more price reductions happening right now and that have been in the past. The highest amount of price reductions in seven years. That's awesome. That are, that, That's good for buyers. It's buyer. good for buyers. Yeah, for good sellers. for buyers. Yeah, and it's just it's yeah. just thing, things are changing. But I am proud of this because the last three listings I've had, we've all gotten multiple offers and over asking because it's about pricing. Yeah. Yeah, and then the seller expectations because if the seller is looking at you know something from last year, like oh, what well, should be more than what it was last year? It's like no, that's not. It's not where it's going. Right. So it's managing. It's just yeah. yeah. Totally managing that. Got it. And you know, seeing seeing where it's going. But the interest rates are going up too. So that's okay. just kind of like so basic yeah. That's like basic math. Where yeah. you know it's like what's one, happening. one thing or the other. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well yeah. where can they find you so they can oh. get, all, get all this fun information? Oh, okay. Lots of fun information because I do my little weekly videos. Yes, yeah, she does. She does Wilder Wednesdays. <laughs> Wilder Wednesdays with oh, like no. her Real estate market mm -hmm. updates, which is so cool. You guys have to follow her and tune in. Wait, but before we for, before we sign off, we do this thing. Oh, okay, and tell you about okay. this. But um, you have to tell us your most embarrassing or funniest or craziest mom moment. We've like heard it all in the show. Oh, yeah. like don't hmm. be embarrassed. <clears throat> my most embarrassing mom moment. Oh my gosh. I know, I'm putting you on the spot. That is? You didn't tell me about this one. I did that deliberately. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see. I can't even. I don't even. There's so many that are embarrassing. Well, just like. Okay. Okay. I, like a funny something that stands I, out. I feel like, okay, this is the thing that stands out for me is that I've done a lot of different things. Yeah. I, like been skydiving, had, you know, natural pregnancies, like hard yeah. Okay. Things like being on Shark Tank, but yeah. no, but it felt like nothing was harder one time than taking my three-month-old and my two-year-old to the park was one of the oh. hardest. Thing. I was like almost crying, like the kids are crying. I've got like a football hole. They're like screaming, <laughs> like stuff's flying everywhere. I'm like start crying. Like maybe that's not funny. That's not funny. I was like, oh my god, nothing's harder in the life. I, I don't know. know. Or, or like even just <laughs> getting the lunches ready for school. Like why is it? I know we did talk about that. Why is time. it so much harder? Oh no, I think that this, <laughs> this morning it's like. Putting the shoes on. Oh, and getting I mean, out just the, the clothes, and then they you poop like, in the diaper before so we're leaving. Like, yeah. And then for some reason, Henry didn't want to get out of the car on the way to preschool, so I'm like the parent that's like, get out, get out of the car. <laughs> and they're like, like he's screaming, and I'm like, oh my God, the whole preschool is oh. like listening to oh. this, and it's terrible, and it's picture day. So I'm trying not to get him all upset yeah, and like, ruin his hair or his outfit. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, I, think, I think those, like, just, 
moments. Real, like real, real moments that's, that's, that's of like point. real life that are like, but that's the point. Why is that literally so, can't make this up? No. I but, mean, it's like motherhood happens and I always have this, these moments like, is this really happening right now? Like, is this really this hard? No, it's not. But like, why is it need to why? be? It's just yes. like motherhood. It yeah. is. It's and then, hard. And the, and the two, and tra- oh my God, that was, it's gotten way easy. It's so easy. But like that, after that park experience, I was like, we're not going out. We're not leaving the house. We're not Which going out. <laughs> no, not doing it. But I don't know. <laughs> that was embarrassing I, for me later. <laughs> I can totally relate to that. That was cool. I get it. I get yeah. it. I get it. Okay. Well, I love it. So, so much good insight from okay. amazing Shelton. Thank, Thank you so much for being on the show. But let's um, sign off and tell our audience oh. where we can find you so they can follow you. And Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Well, I am Shelton Wilder. And so you can follow me on Instagram at Shelton Wilder underscore estates. Or my website is sheltonwilder.com. Awesome. Yes. And Facebook and all these other. Okay. They'll all we'll link to it. So. Awesome. Would love to see you guys. Yeah, and come hear all the market updates and yeah. hear about all real estate. Market, mom updates, the mm-hmm. whole thing. She's got it going on. <laughs> thank you so much for being here, Shelton. And thank you for tuning in to the Model Mama Show. I'm your host, Tara Tner. And Shelton, we are signing off. Thanks. Bye.